Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, a co-banker, Dan Hop Realtors. Well, today is a next step of my series of interviews with custom home builders. And this luxury home builder is named Ryan Murphy and his company is Evolutionary. Let's go check it out. This home built by Evolutionary Homes is absolutely breathtaking. I'm probably gonna say that a lot today because it is amazing. All right, well, Ryan is inside and he is ready to do the interview with me. So I don't want to keep him waiting. Let's go on inside and have him answer some questions that anybody considering buying a custom home should ask. All right, we are here with Ryan Murphy with Evolutionary Homes, and this home is absolutely stunning. And thank you, Ryan, for sitting down with me for this interview. Um, I, w I wanted to give you a platform to kind of talk about yourself and your company. Sure. So Evolutionary Homes was founded in 2015. Um, the idea behind Evolutionary Homes was I had finished building a custom home in 2010. Uh, I wasn't really happy with the process or how the information flow went. Uh, so after building that house, my mm -hmm. brother was the construction manager on my project. Mm -hmm. I started bothering him to go out on his own. And it wasn't until 2015 that I finally convinced him to go out on his own with the only caveat being he wanted me to join him as a partner. Gotcha. And so we started up Evolutionary Homes with, uh, again, going back to the reason is we wanted to make the process easier for the homeowner. So if there's less guesswork, uh, the homeowner has better visibility mm -hmm. into how their project's going, how their budget's going, uh, real-time access with any smart device, uh, being able to bring more intelligence into the home, and uh, we've been real successful with that. It's funny how you say trying to make things easier. That is the sole purpose of me doing these videos is because I have seen that so many people have been moving from all over the country or the world for that matter, and a lot of them are coming in here completely blind. They have no idea how many wonderful custom home builders there are. So, and they're often coming here with like two days to try to figure out where they want to live, who their builder is. And that's just too big of a decision to make that fast. So that's why I want to do these videos. And, and I really appreciate you sitting down with me to do that. So I can ask some of these generic questions that everybody starting the process should know or should ask just so you can see it out there and make a good decision. And one of those questions I want to ask is, what is your home warranty process? What does that look like? So we have our home warranty is the standard that you normally would see within the industry. We have the first two years uh, cover the house, cover the um, Plumbing cover the electrical. Uh, the first year covers all the fixtures. It's like your bumper to bumper mm -hmm. warranty. Um, years eight through 10 cover structural foundation. Um, any of the, the parts of your house that you can't see that are hidden in the, in the walls or in mm -hmm. the floors. Um, people often come in with they, and they've already got do the, uh, with their own floor plans. Do you guys accept other people's floor plans? Do you have your own? And another question on that line is, do you have your own architect? We are 100% custom, okay. which means we never build the same house twice. Uh -huh. We'll build houses that are similar to each other uh, because if you look at the layouts and floor plans of houses, you know it's all the same rooms. There's only so many different ways you can arrange them. Uh, but what we do do is if a homeowner is coming to us and they have a floor plan that they've gotten from another architect that is not one in our normal portfolio, we will use that floor plan uh, as long as they have a complete set of drawings. Uh, we work with about a half dozen or so architects within greater San Antonio area mm -hmm. and New Braunfels that will try to match the homeowner up based off of our initial conversations that we have with them, with the architect that's gonna best fill their style and mm -hmm. their budget gotcha. that they're wanting to build. 
uh, because architects are artists, they design beautiful things, but they get paid whether the house is over budget or under budget. <laughs> and so uh, we try to make sure as we go through the process that the architect is living within the homeowner's budget. Very nice. Um, I know uh, builders don't like it, but oftentimes uh, throughout the process, a homeowner might have a change of direction they want to make. Mm -hmm. um, how would you guys handle a pro that process if all of a sudden they want to make changes halfway through it? Uh, we deal with change orders all the time. Uh, there's, it's really hard for a homeowner to look at a 2D set of plans uh -huh. and be able to visualize walking through the space. So it all depends on what the change order is. I mean, there are certain things that you can and can't do once you pour the slab. You're not going to make it any bigger. Yeah. Um, so you're kind of fixed there. But, you know, if you wanted to, say, move a wall within a house, I mean, we do all of that. Uh, we have a process through our homeowner portal, which will give the homeowner um, access to what the quote is to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, we're hundred percent transparency on our markup on change orders. So we'll actually show the homeowner the quotes of what the cost is to do it. And then we have our markup that we apply to it. And it's, again, it's hundred percent transparency. Very nice. Um, people that are coming from around the country, they do know Texas gets hot. So one of the big concerns is energy efficiency. Uh, what do you have? you put in your houses to make the house as energy efficient as possible? All of our houses by default are 100% spray foam insulated. Oh, that's good stuff. Um, so even your attic in the summertime won't get above 85 degrees. Um, we have used energy efficient windows. A lot of those decisions and specs we guide the homeowner through because mm -hmm. with energy efficiency, there is cost associated with so for example, this house has a five stage carrier infinity series uh, AC system in it, which is not their top end line, but it's pretty close because mm -hmm. the AC can run at five different levels, 20%, you know, 40%, 60%. And so it can scale up and back with demand. Now that system for this house is about an extra $12,000 over a two stage system. But it's more efficient. So a lot of those decisions can be made by the homeowner. Same thing on windows. We always use high efficiency you know, glass on the windows. Um, but you can go higher efficiency, but there's usually a trade-off because the higher efficiency windows tend to have a greener tint to them. Mm -hmm. Or if you go, you know, triplane windows. Uh, so, you know, a lot of that's driven by the homeowners, whatever the homeowner's requirements are and what they want to meet. Very nice. Depends on what flavor ice cream you're looking for. Exactly. <laughs> All right, um, inspections. Um, oftentimes the construction manager, he has got his head on a swivel and believe it or not, sometimes mistakes happen and it's always good to have inspections going on. Can you walk me through what y'all's inspection process throughout the build is? Uh, we have independent inspectors uh, that come in from say we get foundation engineered, framing engineered, so the company that engineered it, we pay for their inspectors to come out and inspect to make sure we're building it as their design. Uh, we have our normal inspections that the project manager does that's on the site. We have one of the partners, actually both, two of my partners both come out at different stages of the, ins of the build process to do walkthroughs, frame walk, you know, before you insulate, sheetrock walk, before you sheetrock. Um, mm -hmm. That's why our finish out uh, is so strong in comparison to other houses you see because we are so focused on the detail and we have decades of experience mm -hmm. working through the house, walking it, making sure that things are being built correctly. Because I don't want warranty service. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be a warranty service company. I want to build beautiful houses. Gotcha, yeah. I, 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 one of my things I like to do is talk to people who specializes in performing warranty work just so I can get a better insight of 
which builder is really focusing on what's going on behind the walls mm -hmm. and who's just trying to make a house look pretty. Yep. Because there is there are certain builders out there. I'm not going to throw them under the bus, but they're out there. Um, how long does it normally take to build a house? Uh, we On usually, average, I know, you know that's kind of a vague question. I would say, you know, sub 4,000 square feet, uh, a good length of time is about 11 to 12 months. Um, just because you're not rushing through it, mm -hmm. uh, you, you don't have to. You don't have trades working on top of each other. You don't have a mistake that could get accidentally sealed up in a wall that nobody saw, mm -hmm. um, like someone putting a you know a, a screw through a piece of Romex or a screw through you know a piece of plumbing. Mm, yeah. um, so, eleven to twelve months would be a good time. And that's kind of what I'm seeing a lot, mm -hmm. especially in the custom home process. It. Be prepared to do a slow process and get it done right. Um, I'm not gonna. It, this normally question is how. Okay, I can ask this. Um, how and when is the final cost determined? Final cost determined. When Good, the, right now, it, when, it's just a crazy time with lumber rate going up and everything going up. Well, you can't really have a final cost determined until the homeowner closes on their house at the end of the project because you don't know, are they gonna have a change order? Mm -hmm. Every homeowner's gonna have a change order. Mm -hmm. You know, we have homeowners that have gone through and had three change orders. We've had homeowners that go through and have 50 change orders. Um, it really depends on a lot of the pre-work the homeowner did going into the building the house. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we work with allowances. Uh, we try to get the homeowner paired up with a designer at the same time, they're going through the architectural process so that they can get a good idea uh, what plumbing fixtures they want to put in, what appliance package they want to put in, what lighting fixtures, because the more information you have to feed into the budget process, the less assumptions I'm having to make to try to figure out, are these uh, homeowners wanting Delta package or are they going to want a Kohler package mm -hmm. of plumbing? You know, there's there's big cost differences between the two. Oh yeah, are you are you going for that uh, Lexus package on the car analogy or do you want to go full Bentley yep. and put all of the bells and whistles in? Um, do you guys have a model home uh, that someone could walk and kind of check out what you do? And if not, do would you have the ability to kind of reach out to someone to kind of walk mm -hmm. to show off what you've done in the past? We have homes at all stages of construction. We don't have a model home because, you know, being 100% custom, it's not a good business practice for us to staff a model home and just have it sitting there mm -hmm. when we have beautiful homes available to show. Mm -hmm. And we have happy homeowners that are more than happy to, for us to show their houses. And that leads into my next question. Uh, as I'm doing this video series, it's going to be a two-part series. One is interview with a builder, and the second one, I'm definitely going to be asking for some of those folks' information mm -hmm. because I'm going to ask them to do a little interview too because I want and keep that interview completely private to where someone has to bring me on as their real estate agent to see those interviews because I want your past clients to be completely and brutally honest mm -hmm. with me with guarantees that that's never going to get back to out to the general public yep. because I, I want that's just to me great information for someone researching a builder to have. Mm -hmm. um, what advice would you have for someone who's just getting started in this process? Uh, do your homework. There's a lot of great information out there. We have great information on our website that people can download. Um, I would talk to a builder, especially if you're coming in from out of state and not mm. familiar with San Antonio. I'd talk with a builder before picking out your lot because you can spend uh, an extra $100,000 on your foundation because you pick a crappy lot or you could mm -hmm. have a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. And so a builder that's built houses here will be able to tell you that by walking the lot. And I, I got to tell you, I've done that several times and I have never seen a builder not want to come out there and kind of walk the lot before even you purchase it 
because like you said you can put the money in the foundation in the lot. it's kind of up to you because yep. you that found it, that lot might be really sloped and have a great million dollar view but you're going to pay for that foundation and some and some people that's important to them it's all about what's important to the homeowner some people want to have their exactly. focus looking out their front yard and see downtown san antonio some people want to have the view out their backyard some people don't want to have any views and just want lots of trees around so that they don't have to see anybody else yep so it's you know it's good to engage with somebody before you pick your final lot gotcha well ryan i definitely appreciate you sitting down with me i think you provided some great information to people out there who are watching my channel um, we do have something a little different this time we have the person who did all the design features for this house and we're going to do a private tour of this house this is a beautiful home that's built for the 2021 parade of homes here in san antonio it has been sold and it is getting ready to be handed over to the new buyer. Well, like today or tomorrow, isn't it? Well, we have to go through and we're gonna go through and we're gonna clean it. We're gonna touch up where we hung things on the walls, touch up the paint, touch up the holes, make it look like nobody was ever walking through here. Wow. Before we turn it over and they're, they're gonna get it towards the middle of the month. Gotcha. But before we do all that, I definitely wanna show you guys this home because it is absolutely breathtaking. All right, uh, let's do a tour. All right, let's begin this tour. We are gonna switch to our, nav our tour guide as Laura <laughs> with LLB Interior Design. She is a wonderful designer. She has designed a lot in this house. So I'll turn it over to her. Yeah, actually did the house from ground up um, with the exteriors, everything you see, blueprints even. Um, the builder came to me with the parade and said, hey, review the plan. So made some suggestions, which were all implemented into the home. So this is my baby and I'd love to give you a tour. Let's go. All right, so foyer, mm -hmm. very large, very well receiving, very open, the lighting, everything about proportion and scale to the oh, space. I didn't really notice how high up that is, went. Yeah, it's very important that everything that's done is in proportion to your space. So I'm very, very cautious of that. But the vestibules to the master and the living room are a great approach as you come into this space. Okay. And it just kind of welcomes you. And when uh, the builder gave me these plans, you, know, you have to come up with a concept. So it starts with how the architect drew the house. And this is definitely more of a contemporary feel, but a mm -hmm. soft contemporary. It's not ultra contemporary. And right away, I got a very California vibe, kind of wanted to do a different feel. We do have a lot of buyers coming from California, and a lot of new states are showing buyers. And so we wanted this feel to invite them and welcome them to Texas, all these new buyers. <laughs> so you can see where we have to fill this space. It's a lot. So the large light that I picked for here, and I centered it, took away some hanging pins which are quite often done on a house like this but with that much length just would not be appropriate and changed up this cabinet and uh, Ryan the builder came and said hey I've got this long wine cabinet I want to show so I redesigned all the cabinets in this house with uh, Michael Edwards mm -hmm. and we had a blast Mike Tarantino and I highly recommend them the cabinets are a first design for that company so Ryan trusted me and I went through and changed just about every cabinet to a drawer effect, mm -hmm. which is very unusual. If you want to get that sink view, this is really cool. And even with an apron sink, most people think, oh my gosh, check it out. So it's a cabinet that's to look like mm -hmm. drawers, but it's well, a very nice, unique effect. I don't know if effect. the picture is going to pick up the texture on no. there, but that's very unique. And I'm glad you brought that up because I featured all of the new spring uh, new Kohler spring mm -hmm. uh, faucets and sinks and everything especially when we get to the master so it's kind of a little surprise mm -hmm. but the utility has a unique piece from Kohler but all the pieces that you see and LG is our appliances this is a fabulous new line mm -hmm. it's called the signature series and 
It's been quite a success during this show, so we're really happy to promote LG and the Signature Series. Now, and I know there's something a little special about this little grill plate here. Yeah, it's mirrored, and Ryan can probably answer that. He picked this range, but it's all... Uh, a beautiful gas feature and with the extra wide surface as well. Now you can change that out. The mirror was kind of cool for the show. Well, I, what he was explaining to me is yeah. like that will never stain. It's oh, super yeah. easy to clean. The mirror? And the yeah. mirror. And yeah. It will stay that way. And you can cook on it. Yeah, it's really exactly. cool. It's a cooking, yes, it has a little yes. brittle there. But there are options too, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. But the mirror we thought was a super cool effect. I got to point out this, uh, I have. Let's see if I can get this to open. Oh, I know, right? right there we go. Yes, a Love drawer this microwave. Feature. I mentioned it in a couple of another builder, but very important, especially once, uh, like I said, prior military, our, <laughs> our bender doesn't work too well anymore. There you go. So being able to top load access. Yes, and it works for kids I my, too. Yeah, that's I really why my daughter opened it. Before. Yeah, but for the kids that can't reach the microwave, so when I work with clients and do their appliances, that's always a nice touch. Yes, I and love that. And then you can come through this way, and of course we have the receiving desk for the buyer, which the house did sell during framing, which mm -hmm. was really nice. And I presented my ideas, and they went for all of them, and it was that was very much a bonus. Mm -hmm. And of course the very large paint Pantry Don't and show off the pantry. this refrigerator is really cool. It's from LG as well. And what it does uniquely is it drops the round ice cubes mm. six a day at I think 70% you mean like the big clarity. Whiskey, the whiskey yes, glass for oh. your rocks glasses oh, and for the go. bourbon lovers. Um, and I you don't can do know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and you can do three a day at I think 90% clarity of the Ice. That's awesome. So it's really cool, but six okay. a day for sure. And of course, sig lots of shelving. Signature yeah, signature sweet. from LG, very popular. And again, the drawer designs, nice mm -hmm. little work counter for unloading your groceries, which is cool. And I did all frosted glass in the cabinets. It, it makes it unique, but it's not clear. So mm -hmm. us ladies, as we're doing our cabinets, we don't quite have to worry about what exactly we're putting in there and mm -hmm. it matching and then we've got our mud room i did something a little unique here was um everybody's got the bench and the hooks mm -hmm. and that sort of thing and i just wanted something for more storage and cubbies and you can just do about anything in there a bunch of baskets and then this is called a receiving counter um it is kind of a hub for phones and chargers, you can leave your keys, you don't have to take them into the house and they kind of stay out of the way after you come through the garage yeah. door right there. And then the very coolest utility room I think ever. <laughs> um, you might oh. want to flip on the lights well, just so everybody can catch this new Kohler sink. That is a serious sink. Yeah, that is new for spring from Kohler and I was super excited to show it. I've had so many women during the show tell me, oh my gosh, that is the coolest thing. They want to put it in a bathroom. So, mm -hmm. you know, they want to put it anywhere. And of course, all the accessories from Choices and More, all of these neat little things can be picked up at her boutique off 46 mm -hmm. in Spring Branch. And then LG, this top washer and dryer is really cool. So we've represented that. And this stand-up steamer, which is from LG as well. Very cool. I think retail somewhere in the price range of like 1200 but it really is sweet. And the LG rep just educated oh. me so well on all this. So this was a bonus so for the, the buyer. Out. Yes, hang it, turn it on. Very <laughs> And cool. now I did do the little bit of a mud room for the people mm -hmm. with their kiddos and backpacks. So this can be moved to mm -hmm. a more private area and you don't have to worry about all the cumbersome raincoats and all exactly. that. And it's behind a closed door, mm -hmm. which is really nice. And I've been doing this for a little over 30 years, about mm -hmm. 33, going on 34 years now. I've worked for so many custom builders in the San Antonio area and I love working with Evolutionary Merit. 
Holmes, Maggie Merritt, her dad John, they've all done show houses. This is my 16th parade, mm -hmm. so it's something really cool. In the media room, we oh. always try to do something fun. Camilla's furniture uh, represented with me in the entire house for all the large case goods and large upholsteries and accessories. This is a representation of what they offer. Such a popular item is their big wall medias okay. that you'll also see a surprise in the master from them. But this has been a huge seller. Every show that we've done together, Camilla's an LLB. Definitely and love of the course, feature. oh yeah, and Ryan, he just is all about the IT stuff mm -hmm. and is really on top of these lighting features. You notice the square recess cans, mm -hmm. no round recessed in this oh, house. Okay. I had not noticed that. Yeah, those today. are super cool, and I hope we can repeat them in future your homes but they're very unique and I'm so tired of the round so that's a <laughs> that's a bonus for me I love having new things because I see stuff every day this is the powder bath which is all featured new Kohler this is the veil sink which is awesome their new faucet for spring I picked up this little goodie in near Houston it's a probably 40 year old antique believe it or not with original hardware yeah. couldn't believe it so I just super cool I didn't preview the house sorry toilet seat was up oh that's okay Pet peeve the of mine. wallpaper Anybody watch my videos a hundred percent of times if I don't preview a house I will find a toilet seat. Oh, there you up. go. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> but wallpaper's making a comeback. It, so, oh, okay. Yeah, a big comeback. And this is uh, the quiet room. So the quiet if room. If you can tell, the sound on your uh, recording probably changed. I double insulated this room because I wanted this to come off as a relaxation room. It's kind of a new thing out of California. And the homeowner loved the concept. I think she's going to keep it and continue it and i thought it was more of a appropriate thing during covid and after covid so we can all kind of come in here you can read you know just if you meditate whatever it is that you want to do to help relax yourself that room Love is. That. that's a unique place to do the lights there I yeah like lighting is very important to me it's kind of the jewelry of the house so I went through and did all the electrical changes on the plan before we started construction and some of these things that you see are definitely going to be different. Mm -hmm. uh, I love doing lighting. I love designing tile too. So I don't oh, know if I you. Oh, I can tell. Oh yeah, it's kind of got the. Well, the sh look. in the showers, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, manual labor went into oh, that, yeah. but the tile designs to me are super important. Mm -hmm. And not everybody has the budget to do something as intricate as this, but I try to work with a client and simplify a design but yet yeah. still make it unique for them and keep them within their mm -hmm. budget so it's it's always fun tile regardless of budget is fun to we me go outside and check out this beautiful back deck area yeah the pool oh absolutely gorgeous and a huge patio so that oh, oh, oh we got some. yeah we got some landscape another common theme of my videos yeah every time i'm doing one there's well, a landscaper i have to say the lot that he's clearing is also an evolutionary lot oh, and okay. that's available mm -hmm. next door to this so believe it or not that's an outdoor indoor lamp mm -hmm. made for wet areas love the touch of the dead flowers yeah I haven't, that hasn't been updated <laughs> but yeah we've got our there. outdoor grill and camilla's did all the patio furniture as well a the soft lot, fit lots is lots of covered space out here oh yeah and the soft fit's a rather unique color it's a pre-stained it's very popular mm -hmm. but most people haven't seen this shade now, and and i remember uh listening to folks as they're coming through Prater Homes. Everybody loved the big dog. Oh yeah, that was talked about. That's Camilla's. When I was picking all the furniture to bring to the house, he's at their front door and greets you mm -hmm. when you enter and say, oh gosh, we have to have the dog at the parade. And there you go. it's been a memory point without a doubt. Everybody's loved it. They've even taken pictures with it. Mm -hmm. I believe it. <laughs> it's hilarious. Let's see if this door is open. Oh, perfect. Yay, Yay come on in. <laughs> so the guest quarters are straight ahead and 
for the show. Technically, we're a three bedroom plus a master. And I converted one of these to a study, so it's very optional. And the bathroom is shared between the guest bedroom and the bedroom slash study. Got and to the shower here. Oh yeah. Show so off your beautiful tile work. <laughs> well, and Two thirds of this tile is from Stone Solutions in San Antonio. The other is CRS in San Antonio. And it's uh, been a joy working with all my suppliers that mm -hmm. help me pick everything. Hunter Douglas, that's a new window covering. It's mm. called Banded. And I wanted to represent that when you close it and tilt it. Because yep. I love doing window coverings. You get one tilt and it's private. Mm -hmm. So it's a really cool window treatment and I can get you that at LLB Interiors yeah, I, that's if anyone's question. interested. <laughs> that is a question I get quite a bit, window covering uh, companies. Yes. So LLB Interiors so it's Hunter Tales. Douglas only okay. and I'm a big believer in their product. They're made very well and their warranties are awesome. Mm -hmm. I know there's other products that are out there but in my 30 plus years they have been the most reliable. They have certified installers. They warranty everything. So you're yeah. not only covered by the product but also by the installation labor. Nice. Uh, again this whole room is supplied by Camilla's with a few mm -hmm. pieces from Choices and More on the wall. So mm -hmm. art and placement is also a need to be balanced. So yeah. you can see, and again, some unique lighting. Mm -hmm. And this is designology. So if you've seen in the videos through the house, some of the succulents featured, they are designology. And a friend of mine, Adrian Galvan owns it. He's also a fellow designer and he's venturing into this. So I definitely wanted to present him in the show house Good. and try to get him exposed mm -hmm. for his new venture. This is the guest room and Camilla's did the furniture. And we've got some pieces in here from Choices and More as well, including the cute little green uh, table, which I thought was cute for morning coffee for a guest <laughs> and kind of sit and relax while they're waiting for the homeowners to get up. <laughs> And, and of course, this bathroom I love. I kind of called it my Hollywood bath. The Hollywood kind of bath. With the California Santa Barbara theme. I wanted to, you know, kind of show something flashy. So the black polished large beveled edge subway tile has been a hit. Everybody loves that shower. And of course, oh. my unique lighting and changes in the mirrors were kind of mm. different to show something unique and fun, uh, just ideas I want people to take away. Every time I do a show house, I want someone to walk out and go, oh wow, I've never seen that. And if you notice, I changed any of the upper head cabinetry and all these secondaries, I did floating shelves. Because mm -hmm. that is just a little bit more unique way to display yeah. your towels. And it's and not expensive. No, it's about, with Michael Edwards, it's a little less than doing a full cabinet. Mm -hmm. But they're a three inch, gorgeous finish. And as you can see, lots of storage. And again, the drawer effect. Mm -hmm. but lots of storage so for all the private things you need to hide away mm. that's a good spot for it but all the walk-in closets with evolution are huge yeah. we do lots of cubby storage and it's perfect for additional storage uh, for a guest room to kind of use as the rest of the house if needed so there's some really nice closets and space and all of the above but the art is just really unique mm -hmm. too. Just a few pieces that are key and things don't have to match. But my theme here was to keep a blonde and a black and a gold with a pop of emerald green. And the ceiling in here is phenomenal. Oh. Evolutionary just, that, I think, blows it, it out of the park. It kind of looks like you got a floating spaceship yes, above yes, you. Yes, yes. And it's huge maybe not captivated on this video but oh, it, it's, it's just massive <laughs> and so we can't say how massive and how gorgeous it is but as you can see the the use of trying to keep the space filled and as big as this is um the sound actually oh. isn't you know echoing isn't too bad but Coming back through the foyer, we have an IT closet to the left that you just passed, mm -hmm. which is kind of nice. Um, we um, also, we got people trying to come in still. Yep. And the master suite, here you go. The, um, 
uniqueness of this is, as you can see, it's a retreat. Sorry, I'm always playing decorator. Um, but as you can see, it's large, expansive, a mm -hmm. great ceiling treatment. Again, the furniture and all the bedding is from Camilla's and these gorgeous lamps. Um, the drapery designs are cool. All the tile in here is very unique. I wanted this to have a little bit of a feminine touch. And again, the big, massive, gorgeous media setups that Camilla does, I think is awesome. And that balance on the draperies I designed, I just gotta share, always a unique thing you can do as a designer. That's actually an old air vent out of a hmm. factory in the early 1900s, believe it or not. You just kinda tacked it up there? Well, I fold it first, cause it was a nasty wood. And then we had the smoke mirror. Um, added at the antique store that I bought that mm. piece from. So, a little creative design there. And the, everybody now wants the to see the master bath. bath. Everybody yes. Everyone wants to see the big master bath. And you can see the drawer feature again and the six inch edge on the stone top. Oh That's God, from that CRS. And the sinks are again a new color presented for spring and they are just gorgeous. Painted, the colors have that little hint of blush that I was trying to introduce into this master suite. So that feminine touch. Okay, oh, I got this, this <laughs> isn't a shower. This is a shower room. Yeah, it's a shower room. You are exactly right. And the homeowner just loves it, loves it. And if you notice the beautiful faux on the ceiling. So Valerie is my faux painter. If you guys love a little hint of that still, she's been with me for years, does phenomenal work. I just love her. She's so talented. True artist. Yeah. You don't want to be drinking too much whiskey while in this bathtub because you can drown in it. Yeah, that's that a, a deep, 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 deep soaker tub. It's beautiful. And notice the linear drain. Yeah. I added no, that. No seams, just no. A flu fluent walk yes. into here and very just a easy. very gentle slope into the shower. And it's easy to age in this home too. Mm -hmm. There's lots of wide, so it's you know very easy. The drawers are the nice touch. Again, the sink door to show exactly all of the features but the parade drawers in this house I just I can't say enough about how much I love this design on cabinetry and the frosted doors are a nice touch I added those so you can kind of as you enter the closet you need to see a little surprise in there the builder let me change this around too mm -hmm. and I added a woman's well, and a man's, but a vanity <laughs> that when you come in, if you don't want to see some clutter on your vanity, mm -hmm. you can come here and retreat and just feel at home, get ready for that day of work or that evening out, but the sinks are free of clutter. Mm -hmm. And the full mirror that you see there the, is... The final um, check before you make yeah, yourself public. That's right. Full length mirror. I wanted to make sure all the women were taken care of. But I love the frosted glass touch and all the storage and it's just a great closet evolutionary designs not only a beautiful house yeah, but this is beautiful. their closets are beautiful and these really aren't an upgrade they're part of their package and the way they trim out their closets are beautiful and extremely functional but the framed mirrors mm -hmm. um, Steve's glass does a beautiful job on all his mirror work for us and I did change we had just regular old cabinets in this bathroom over here and I had cabinets over here and I said okay let's do a coffee wine bar so technically that's designed for a coffee pot mm. the homeowners can have their glass of wine or champagne lots of great storage and some very unique hardware from builders interior products and again cabinet trees are all Michael Edwards and the beans are beautiful oh, just, just a beautiful. little different touch Just such a stunning house. And the front doors, Miss Patty at AMS does a beautiful job. 
I um, this is her logo architectural metal solutions the front door I uh, worked up something from Santa Barbara as a special design and I worked with Patty on that so they are definitely unique in themselves so the homeowner really got some great features along with this painted tile from stone solutions that we uh, tried to feature that old Spanish colonial, which is actually original design in Santa Barbara that you see quite often. And then as you enter both sides of the house is where I went with the more modern Santa Barbara. Well, Lara from LLB Interiors, I really appreciate you giving us a tour of this absolutely breathtaking Thank home. Thank you so much. And uh, the owner of this is gonna be floored and I'm can't say I'm not, I'm jealous of them. Oh, me too. But thank <laughs> you for beautiful. doing this. I'm Ryan and I appreciate it. Evolutionary and LLB, greatly appreciate yes, this. Yes, it is. Well, I found that very, very informative. And like I mentioned in my intro, this was gonna be a stunning home. And I hope you also found it informative. And if you did, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and keep sharing with your friends. I'm a real estate agent trying to grow my business and I find the best way to do that is to provide people with the best information possible so they can make the best decision for them and their family. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now, bye.